I've got a show and tell today for you with Bright Start Math. We've got a guest in the studio. This is Kathleen Cotter Clayton, and she's got a new product. So we thought we'd do a little unboxing video for you. This is the Chemistry Card Game Kit, mm -hmm. and why don't you show us what's inside? What we have in here, first of all, I need to tell you a little bit about this. This was actually written by Michelle Clark. She is a college professor, and she wrote this for her college students who were having difficulties with the math portion of chemistry. So there is some traditional chemistry information in here, but it's more the math aspect of it. And we use card games, just like Right Start Math, we use card games to practice and learn with the program. She says this is also great for high school students and middle school students. I know some elementary students who are playing the very simple games, obviously not the complex one, but it's, so it's, it's kind of a continuum. The other thing that's really nice about it is it does not matter what curriculum you're using. These are games that will supplement any learning of chemistry. So this is the book that has all the games in it. It's broken out by chapters. So like here up on the top corner, you can see we've got the density chapter. Um, there is periodic table, ionic compounds, concentrations. She's got all these different chapters in here. And here's the cards that we use. We've actually got nine decks. Aren't they pretty? This one is the conversion cards. We've got element cards. This is length cards. Prompt cards. These are questions that are actually used in the game. This one is volume. These are corners. If you're familiar with the corners, the Bright Start Corners game, this is a spin-off of that. This one is time cards. This one is the atomic number cards. And this last one I have here is mass cards. So we've got these nine different decks of cards that are gonna be used in this curriculum. We also have some centimeter cubes that will be used in a couple of the games, kind of as markers, but we include them for you so you don't have to look for it. And then there's a periodic table of the elements. This is kind of a chart that'll help you walk through, oops, the three-way thing here kind of help you with some of the terminology of it. And then another periodic table of the elements. Are you saying that a high school student who maybe is reluctant to take chemistry because they're not strong in math? Right, would this you, will help them. Would they do this as a year course, as a summer before? This would be a supplement. So you're going to you're going to use whatever curriculum you're using for your chemistry and maybe you you find that your child's having difficulties matching this. Let's go find a game that works with that. Cuz you're not going to do an hour of games a day, but this might be something where I play a couple games a week. Okay. You know, I just kind of keep going with them. And, oh, that was a really fun game. I'm going to play that game again and you keep going with okay, I've got that one so I learn a new one and each of these games not only do they review, but they also teach which is really neat. Okay. So I have the element card deck and the atomic deck. So the element deck has all of the symbols with the name of all the elements that you're gonna find on the chart. And they're so clean looking. Show one of those. I think they're so... Yeah, so this one is phosphorus. Oops. Tidy looking. This one is fluoride. So you can see them on there. So then we have the matching atomic number ones. So here we have cadmium, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I've got the atomic number for it. So they're all going to match. The colors match. Yeah, the colors match. So when she told me to find the cadmium in my deck, it was really easy because I was looking for that teal blue color. Yes. Okay. So we can play games with it, and there's games where perhaps I'm matching these two. Or I might be playing a war game. If you remember the game of war where you lay down two cards, mm -hmm. you lay down that Argon. one, I lay down this one, and we have to look to see who's got a higher atomic number. So we'd look at our periodic table. So I happen to know that cadmium is right, was it was 48 right there. Mm -hmm. And argon is, anybody see that one? It's a gas. So maybe over here. Right here. There we go, number 18. So because those numbers are so different, now a student can go, why? What's the difference? Why is an 18? What makes an 18? What makes a 48? And that's going to be in the book. Yes. Nice. 
So there's all sorts of different games to play with them. These are very simple examples, but again, the book has all the games for you. So we've got two decks we're looking at. I have the length card deck, which has this backing. And I have in my hand, the conversion card deck, which has this back. Okay. So I've got cards in my hand. Now we're just kind of going to take like a part of the game out. I just want to demonstrate what this looks like. Okay. So go ahead. Here's my card. And now what we've called, what we want to do is in this case, we have 45 kilometers. And what we want to do is we want to know how many meters are in there. Well, I look at my hand and I go, oh, I've got just the card for this. So I'm going to take this card. This is my conversion card. And I have, it's telling me I've got a thousand meters per kilometer. I could flip it this way and say one kilometer is to a thousand meters but I want to know how many meters are in here. So I'm going to flip it around this way. Okay. So this is going to tell me right here. It also tells me I'm going from kilometer to meter, which is what I want because I want to know how many meters are in here. So when I put these two together, because if you remember with this, you want to cancel, I'm going to cancel the kilometer, cancel the kilometer. And then I'm going to say 45 times a thousand, 40, is 45,000 meters. It looks so simple when you present it, it that does. way. It does. But how often do kids, like even as I look at this, I got a little confused. Which way do I go? Do I go this way or do I go this way? And so it helps with the cards being able to flip it around and be able to see it. So let's see now. I want to go to meters. So I'm going to cancel, cancel. Now I have 45 times a thousand meters. That's my answer. And we're going to play games to practice it. And again, we just kind of carved out a little, right. a little chunk, but you can see it. So as you get more and more examples of this, the math is going to click. The math is going to click and you're going to start to know how do I do it? Do I multiply it this way? Do I multiply it by something else? We can kind of work with it. It's easier to turn these around than it is to erase and rewrite it and race again. It's so much easier just to turn these around. So this is the chemistry card games kit. And again, it's really for anybody who's wanting to learn it, has to learn chemistry, or those that are just getting ready to learn it. So they're not even they're not even quite there yet, but they can start to become more familiar with it. And are these cards, is this something where a student could, if they had to play by themselves, they could still make it work with just a single They can, player? just like you and I were doing. Again, you mm -hmm. can adapt, make it fit your situation, your child, your home life, your, you know, whatever your situation is. So you no could, excuse. No excuses. You got to play the games. Go play with the dog if you yes. have to. <laughs> Pretend. Yes. Or invisible friends, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Chemistry card games. It's new from right start. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you for having me.